I'm going to make this a part two to the video I posted earlier <clears throat> about people, some people being uh, incapable of processing the higher and hyper dimensional information that some of us can process and some of us can, you know, see, recognize. Now, I want to go a little step further as far as explaining why some of them can't. In the, er, in the earlier video, I said, you know, they never had to. It was never required for their survival. That is true. The other reason, reasons, I have to do with them, the hardware that would receive this information being damaged. Okay. So what do I mean by that? I have, when I speak, I regularly refer to the human body. What is it? The law of one mind, body, spirit complex. I refer to it as an avatar. It's, it's just, it's a bioelectrical meat suit that we utilize in order to navigate this realm. And it has within it, contained within it, apparatus that allow you to communicate with the extra dimensions that your rods and cones and your eyes cannot perceive, but they do in fact exist. So your things like many of you already know this, your pineal gland, pineal, however you say it, um, gland, your thyroid, uh, the DNA in, or the light in your DNA does this. Um, the cells in your body do this. So what can happen and what actually does purposely happen is that the avatar gets damaged and its apparatus, its receivers, it's just like a radio. A radio receives radio signals. So if it's an AM radio, it can only really receive AM signals. If it's an FM radio, it can only receive, I don't know if I've ever seen just FM, usually they're AM and FM, but you get my point. The radio receives the signals that it's configured to receive based on its hardware, meaning the physical apparatus installed within it. So if I, if my uh, apparatus can only receive AM radio signals, then no amount of, of sending more FM signals is going to do any good. The, I, the, the receiver itself isn't capable of receiving FM signals. And so it, within our, our human avatars, within our bioelectrical suits, these apparatus, I think the plural of that is also just apparatus, apparatuses. I don't know, you guys, I'm sure somebody will correct me. Okay, I'm just going to say apparatus as plural and singular for now because I don't know any better. So these apparatus end up becoming damaged and they do a poor job of receiving this information, of pulling it down and receiving it. This happens due to many, many factors. The very first way that this gets damaged is when the human avatar is born, it is injected with a cocktail of different um, chemicals, metals, that immediately Effect and uh, begin to prohibit its ability to receive these signals and this hyperdimensional information. That's number one. Then, many times, as you go along in life, now the, the, the baby is, you know, the baby's mom is feeding them formula, which is full of pesticides and heavy metals. And they're putting this powdered formula many times in water that is full of fluoride and chlorine. And then the child, you know, gets ready for school. And in order to go to school, they have to, they are required to be injected with more chemicals, more cocktails, including heavy metals, more heavy metals. These affect your cellular structure, the cellular function, they affect the crystalline aspects of the receptor apparatus of your thyroid, your pineal 
in the cells in your body, your DNA. They basically put a damper. They're like a governor or a damper. They put on uh, these apparatus to be able to receive the signals. Now, as we go along in life, we continue. I, I realize that the, the, as, as far as the medical community is concerned, these injections are perfectly safe and they don't do any harm. But just like everything else in the mainstream world, their science, aside from all of the other fallacies, which are many, does not include or calculate for consciousness. No study, no experiment, no data is complete without considering consciousness. We need to make that shift. Tesla said something similar when we begin to study the unseen. That's when we're going to get to the bottom of things. Consciousness is unseen. However, it is measurable. It can be measurable with the correct instrumentation. So, you, the child gets the injection, drinks the water, eats the food, then, of course, is, is subjected environmentally to several different uh, chemicals and uh, things that will, that are an affront to its ability to connect to source code, which is what it really is, and the aspects of source code contained in the extra dimensional spaces. Then they're injected, they, and, and not every human avatar, they're injected and then they receive it environmentally, and not every human avatar chelates or pulls off these metals and these poisonous um, chemicals. Now, when I call it poisonous, I'm saying it's poisonous to the overall health of every every layer of the human avatar, not just physical. That's the other problem that we have in this society is we act like the only thing that we are is a physical body. And that's actually the last thing that we are. It's, it is a thing that we are, but it's not who we are. I am not my body. You are not your body. So in considering whether these things are poisonous or dangerous, you have to consider more than just what they do to the body. But even if you did say just the body, you, one cannot, when they're being injected and with these uh, chemicals and we're being told that they're safe, a hundred percent safe, that is impossible to know because you cannot know how much more of said chemical or heavy metal that that child is going to be exposed to in their life. There are variables that you cannot control and you cannot say that there is sufficient data to know. It could be that one child is injected with it and, and never it, it hardly ever takes in any more of the heavy metals in their lifetime. And it could be that another child is living in a place where heavy metals are rampant in their water and in their food, in their air, for whatever reason. Wink, wink, you know exactly why. So you can't, you can't determine, predict, or make, account, or make an accounting or, or um, modifications to your formula that would account for these additional poisons that come into the child's body because you cannot, you can't predict how much and when. You also, you might be able to predict their chelation rate, but you'd have to take the time in order to do that. And that is not done. So these apparatus in our body are affected by these environmental factors. They're also affected, again, by medications that we take, affected by meats, meats that you eat from animals who have been treated with antibiotics and hormones. You take chemicals into your body through shampoo and soap, conditioner, body wash, dish detergent, laundry detergent, you name it, fabric softener, all of it. So when I say that certain 
of the avatars, Human 101, don't have the ability to process certain information, it is not an insult. I get it. Everything is thrown at us from jump, from the beginning. Many things are thrown at the human, at the hardware inside the avatar to prevent it from receiving the signals correctly. How is it then that some people are able to receive the signals and receive the information and some are not? Well, I would say that everyone has the ability, but you have to actively seek. And I think that goes back to my comment about accounting for consciousness, calculating for consciousness. If you're in the United States, chances are the majority of us have been injected with very similar amounts of chemicals, etc., and consumed. <laughs> Uh, very similar amounts of chemicals, etc. Now, older people received fewer injections. That is true. People older than me received fewer injections. Um, and then people, you know, younger than me, especially babies right now, are being just pumped full from the very beginning, from little four or five pound babies are being pumped full way more than we ever were. Why is this? Well, I'm just going to come right out and say it. There is a timeline bifurcation coming. There is a collapse. There is a collapse coming. I don't mean this to cause any fear in you. I have no fear in me, and I am very sorry if it causes fear in you, but that's going to be between you and yourself. I'm just going to tell you what it is, what's happening. There is a split coming. Many people are saying, you know, that what we'll ascend, you know, to one new earth and other people will stay in the old version. There are many, many ways to interpret this. I'm just going to call it a split because that's the simplest way. And I don't want to argue about what it means, how, what it's going to mean on the other side of it. There are many theories and I, and I have my own, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. So the purpose of this onslaught against the children against the human 101s who have the ability to be the wanderers. The purpose of this onslaught is so that as many souls, spirits, entities, energies, points of attention will be, will remain in the lower vibratory system as basically prisoners, food, pets, whatever you want to call it. Okay. They, whoever they are, know that this is coming. They also know commensurate with it coming are the cosmic angels, the cosmic messengers. That's what an angel is. It's a messenger. They know that the messengers are coming. They know that the messengers are here. They know that we I think we did come in with a little bit of, a, I don't want to say an advantage, but uh, we did come in with a more, with a very purposeful and we chose families who had a higher, a higher light signature in their DNA. So we did kind of give ourselves a bit of an advantage when we came in here, but we then had to do the work. We had to see the need for us to, to dig down deep and connect with our deep consciousness and connect to the higher realms we had to do the work we did do the work we are doing the work and uh, we're trying to execute the mission and that really for me personally that is what this is this is a mission this is a rescue operation this is not recovery this is rescue so what does this mean it means that those who with eyes to see and ears to hear, meaning those with the hardware, with the apparatus in somewhat working order, if you can need to do the work, do the additional work, triple do the work of drawing down as many light codes and as much information as you can and then projecting it out through your DNA code. There is a limited amount of time.
for this to happen. Now, when it comes to time, we all know nobody knows squat, really. I don't know. A short, a short period of time in my perception might be, you know, five years, but in, 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 you know, in the spiritual realms, it could be 50 years. I mean, we've been hearing about this since the Old Testament. But I know that we need to strike basically while the iron is hot. We need to do the work that we came here to do right now. And we need to not operate as though we can do it tomorrow or next week or next year. Because those who have, those whose, whose hardware is damaged, again, th this could also be, uh, and it is, many times it is by their own doing, because the things they consume and activities they, they partake in, especially adults, anything that's addiction, you know, sexual perversion, violence, porn, et cetera, et cetera. That also decreases your hardware's ability to receive the signals. But a lot of times people don't even, they don't even know that their avatar does this. They don't know that there's higher dimensional information out there. They don't know, have any idea how their avatar works. They think they are their body. They think if the TV or the movie or the church didn't or the school didn't tell them that it's really really bad then it must not be you know really really bad and I say bad in air quotes because we all know that is subjective and subject to interpretation what I say bad right now I mean not optimal for the operation of your human avatar so uh, many of these people are here ignorant. That's not an insult. I don't mean it as an insult. It just is what it is. They're operating blind. Blind by design. So they need those of us with functioning tools who are aware to try to mitigate the damage that's being done to them right now. I personally have a hard time uh, I, I can be very impatient because things are so obvious to me. My true north is very well calibrated and I can see things a mile away and I never have had the patience for people who don't see it too and I am wrong for that and I am working on that and I'm at least working on how I communicate that. If I can't fix the emotional reaction, at least I can... I can work on how I present myself to others and how I speak to and treat others because it isn't fair for me to be so impatient. I can see that they're fighting, you know, climbing a grease pole, you know, fighting what feels like a losing battle. So I'm going to wrap it up. But my point is I wanted to discuss the hardware that's in, that, that, that sends and receives, that receives these, these signals. Now, next video I'll talk about how it gets interpreted and how you act on it and, and how that happens within your body, mind, and spirit. Um, I hope this made sense. If you have any questions, let me know. I love you all.